Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. This is a first look at the Mudrunner expansion, American Wilds. It's a DLC that just came out today. Uh, everybody's super excited about it. And I think, I'm hoping that it kind of expands the Mudrunner fan base to an, a more American audience. Because right now, Mudrunner, there's a lot of people that like it. But mostly it seems like Europeans like it and Russians in general because it's all Russian trucks. So now we have some American trucks added in along with a couple American maps. Uh, so the DLC, if you already own the PC version, the DLC is $9.99. It's available through Steam. Uh, we've got Grizzly Creek here as a new map. And we also have uh, Mount Logmore. <laughs> and then we have some other maps. These are from other DLCs. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and go and hop onto Grizzly Creek. Hey, 44 Magnum. Yes, of course. Um, so we got some different vehicles to pick from here. Um, I've got a, a, a Chevrolet uh, K5 Blazer, a Chevrolet Bison, which I'm not familiar. I, I recognize the truck. I didn't know that that was what it was called, but came in never sick. I'm sure you're sick. <clears throat> I'm sick. <clears throat> I have to play the new game. <laughs> um, we got a, a Western Star, which is actually the brand Western Star. Um, I don't skid loader K8400. I'm not sure what that's modeled after. And we have a K9000 Ford, or these are maybe Buffalo or something like that. <laughs> That's funny. I just finished a photo shoot myself, uh, Magnum. Uh, but once again, we have the K5 Blazer, which you guys know I love. Uh, I've got a RC K5 Blazer that I play with all the time. We also have a cool like uh, mid-80s uh, F1, F150 uh, from Ford. What's up, Psychotronic? And um, you've never been first before, and you're not first now. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, your third. Uh, we got a Hummer H1. Eh, I mean, the great truck, but boring. Uh, Ford LTL 9000 and a Freightliner FLD. These are both not suited for off-roading, as they tell you. They're messages right here, these. Me too. So I'm going to pick, let's see, what do we got? What do we have picked already? I think we had a Chevy Bison and the K5 Blazer which I'm very happy with, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and start a new hardcore game. Boop. Oh, that sucks, Magnum. Yeah, that, I always... Focusing is always an issue. That's not a mag, uh, problem only with Nikons. My cannons do it too. Uh, now i got to figure out... Yeah, my gears are still working. I just need to check and see if my the gears are working. So it's a five-speed... Reverse. Okay, good. That works. I was afraid that some of the changes I made since I played this game. We could have a bumper. That's cool. We're going to do that for sure. Light bar. Heck yeah. Repair supplies. Where do those go? Let's see. Oh, let's go in the back of the truck. Yep. Roof trunk. Yep. Of course. Yep, the blazer's worth $9.99. Look how good it looks. Yep. Spare oom. We have spare wheel on the back. And let's go ahead and get this truck started. All right. Let's see. Put it in the first. And uh, I'm going to take a look here at the map and see what we're what we're doing. Is there, is there even a goal? Hang on. Where's my map button? Sorry. It's going to take me a minute to figure out these buttons again because I haven't. That's the advanced button. That This is map. There we go. Okay. Um. So we've got all these places hidden. We've got a Chevy Bison, Ford LTL. So all this stuff is out there in the map, except for... Did I, you guys see the Ford? I don't see the Ford. Um, uh, oh, those are Fords. The, okay, so the the 9,000... Oh, we get the lumber mill. Cool. Those are Fords. So let's go ahead and, and uh, unlock the scavenger points. That's pretty cool. Oh, Feared Fox gave a thousand cheer. When did that happen? I don't remember that happening last night. Well, thank you, Feared. That's pretty cool. I know he said he's going to be joining later to play with us, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> what are you talking about, Thomas? You go ahead and play, man. Do it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to head towards that checkpoint. I think I got okay, that's right. I, it's been a while since I played this game, so I kind of got to get reacquainted with the controls. Yeah, look at this. Looks great. We're going to drop drop in the truck here for a second to 
take a look from inside. I can't find that button too. It's the horn. <laughs> I don't know what that does, but it must be the headlights. There we go. I just want to see. Oop. Yeah, it looks like kind of like the mod ones. So anyway, yes, it is available now on Steam, Jerry. You got to look again. It just it just came out. Unless maybe they're doing it like around the world type release, which would kind of stink for you guys because I it's uh, it's available for me. So do a refresh on your Steam store. It just came out maybe like half an hour. So if you look up Mud Runner, it's part of the DLC list now under Spin Tires Mud Runner. This truck is awesome. So the interior once again is a little goofy and people people get mad about that, but whatever. Yeah, it should be available to everybody right now. Yep. Uh, he, he had to refresh. There we go. No, if you want to play multiplayer with you later, you need to not play now. Oh, I see what you're saying. I, I see. Did you get a free copy of Magnum? That'd be cool. I know you were having issues getting it. I had to buy a copy for Seth. Oh, the guy's got a beard. Oh, hang on. Let's see. That, I got to see that again. Hang on. Dude's got a beard. That's so funny. They keep him a beard. <laughs> Grizzly. Yes, we are going to do multiplayer later tonight for the live stream. So I just wanted to get in here and take a first look and play around a little bit and uh, so yeah we'll probably do the other map um, but yes we will be doing multiplayer later tonight ah I see well I hope you, hope you get it 44 I'm running low on cash I had to renew my Vimeo I'm still saving for my drone so it's like I'm going the opposite direction I had 600 bucks in there and now I've got like 300 because I had to buy all this stuff Oh, that's the watch point right there. I missed it. Um, all right, so let's find if we can... Let's see. Hey, what's up, Hot Rod? I'm going to see if I can find an easy way up there, like these rocks right here. <laughs> all right. So we're going to see, I'm, I'm in second gear, I probably should shift down to first. Oh, we got the diff locks are off and stuff. I need to turn my all-wheel drive on and my diff lock. Lacking hot rod. There it is. Oh, like I way overshot it. I didn't realize there's like a whole bank of trees between me and the checkpoint, so. put reverse well I've been rethinking the gearbox ever since the truck sim changed the way I shift it'd be easier to have reverse up and left but instead of down and right because most cars are up and left for reverse or half the cars out there are. every transmission's different all right so there's our first watch point down onto the road here. That's not how I wanted to do it. So, uh, no, I got a bunch of work done this morning, actually. I should do more. I have weddings I have to finish, but I'll work on that tomorrow. So we're going to play for a little bit, and then I'll probably play for like an hour or two, and then I do have some stuff I have to do this afternoon. And my kids will be coming home from their school thing with their, with their mom. That was a pretty bad tip there. Did some damage. Uh, and then maybe get some more work done. But I have wedding stuff I have to work on over the next couple days. So, All right, let's go ahead and fix the truck up now that I bashed it. Um, get back out of here. Nope. There. Uh, all right, so where is the advance button? That's this. And I'm going to do... There we go. And then get back into driving. Sweet. Let's take a look at our map. Where are we right now? We are, we can unlock that Western Star. So I'm actually gonna just follow the road. Make that there. We'll go unlock this and then we'll head to the next watch point, which probably 
Looks like we're going to have to do some climbing. And then there's some really scavenge. I wonder what that is. Oh, they're scavenge logs. Interesting. It's funny that they mark those on the map. Like, okay, but that's cool. Maybe there's some of the modes you don't get enough. Like you can only scavenge them or something. I don't know. So we are. <laughs> it was just why he's home from school. I like the way the truck stalls out. If you don't. Uh, like, I wasn't giving it enough gas in fourth gear, so I should have been in third. And I just started rolling back, and I couldn't accelerate enough to keep it going. Is this the gas station? Oh, that's cool. We actually have a gas station. Man, if only uh, if only Gold Rush looked like this, that would be a lot more fun to play. <laughs> I like Gold Rush, but, man, this game's got a lot on it. Let's see if I take my foot off and put that in. 80 liters of roof trunk. There we go. So I got tons of gas. All right. So how's everybody doing out there today? We knew this was coming out. I, I was excited about it. I, I woke up early enough this morning to get my work done so I could get on here pretty quick after it came out. Water over the road. I've never seen them put those kind of road signs on the road before. They use... Uh, oh. They use... Um, what do you call it? Uh, they use uh, barricades. They don't use street signs pushed into the mud. All right, Hot Rod, we'll be here. You gotta watch when you're going this fast, because the truck, it doesn't handle like a real truck. It's really hard to steer. Oh, that's our road right there. Now, one of the hard things about using the stick shift as opposed to like the regular game, the in-game transmission is that it's it doesn't work like a real transmission. It's a little bit flaky, so... And you also have a harder time getting the wheels to not spin without stalling. Like, a lot of guys use that low gear to kind of, like, just ease on the pedal. But with the clutch, you can't... You have to kind of, like, work the clutch, so... Yeah, this looks like uh, Alaska, actually. It does feel like Alaska, which, of course, looks a lot like some of these other places that this game models, so... But, yeah, you, I think this looks like... The Pacific Northwest and Alaska it definitely looks like uh, Washington, where I was. There were a lot of places like this along the coast, if you guys remember the video that I made. And even being there recently, it looked like this. Plus, there's a lot of fog out there, so uh, that actually works. The game, the in-game fog works to the advantage of the game. So let's try to follow this and see if we can get this uh, watch point here. You missed you giving me a thousand cheer. Thank you. What's up, from? Prominja. Uh, worship went rough. It was. <laughs> so, do you have the game already, or do you, do you just need you want to do the whole thing, like the game and the DLC? Like, I bought the DLC because I already own the game. I think they do have a bundle right now that you can buy if you haven't purchased spin tires yet. You can you can get the bundle and save some money that way. Um, found some loose bits on your. Loose bits on your couch cushion. Hmm. So yeah, I, I, would you guys agree with me? This does definitely look like the Pacific Northwest and Alaska in the summer, parts of Alaska. But it looks to me like, like or Oregon, Washington, Washington State, like up up near the up near Canada. This could also be just anywhere in North America. You could also definitely be like the Canadian Northwest. So, um, and that fog definitely reminds me of my trip to my recent trip to. To Washington so this is what it looked like the whole time I was there actually the Sun didn't even come out until the very last day so it was just all gray and fog no happy sunlight so yeah if you like rock crawling if you like uh, trailing and stuff like that this game definitely is a good simulator of that for those of you that are kind of new to it but I, this is a great thing so 
two sandbox maps. Cool. North Dakota, Minnesota. Yep, that's what we're on. Grizzly Creek right now, Feared Fox. From their page, yep. Okay, so I missed the mark. So there. Oh, there it is. I was driving right past it. How the heck am I supposed to get up there? What? <sighs> All right, we'll have to figure out how to get up there. Definitely not South Louisiana. I'm supposed to look at me. Oh, yeah, Montana. I can see this being Montana. Now, maybe the other map is more like North Dakota. This is definitely looks like Montana. Like, by, um, like, uh, what is, it, the, what is that park? Uh, I can't think of the name of the park. There's a big park that has all the mountains and the crawl. That's right. Um, it'll come to me eventually. There's a huge national park, like with Lake, Lake St. Mary, and they have like a, lo a logging cabin. Uh, Glacier. Glacier National Park. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. No, nope, not Yosemite. Though I think Yosemite's in... Is Yosemite in Montana? I think it's... Maybe it is. Yeah. Oh, the rot, the ice rocks. Hey, what's up there? NC Dure. Uh, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, Yosemite is Wyoming, I think. All right, so we're taking off the advanced menu so my wheels aren't locked. Oh, they are still. <laughs> I had my... What? I had the clutch on. Navigation revealed. All right, so... Boop. Now let's take a look and see... Oop, I thought I disconnected that. Nope. All right, so we're going to... Um, I've got my foot on the brake full. Wow. <laughs> it's winch. W-I-N-C-H. Winch. Wench is like a serving woman from the <laughs> the Middle Ages. It's not a very... It's kind of a derogatory term, too. <laughs> What's up, Straw? And I'm early. That's right. Well, this just came out. I told you guys I was going to cover this because it's awesome getting back down. That's right. Uh, there's our next watch point, so we're just going to float along the road. Actually, we're going to... We'll do this. I'll kind of lead myself to the right path. There we go. <laughs> That's why I got blocked, 44 Magnum. <laughs> he said he was trying to say winch to something, but he said winch to something. And <clears throat> blocked. All right. Yeah, Jeremy's got it right, but he, I, it's not repeating Jeremy's thing. Yeah, I just can't get grip. We are at a pretty steep angle here, so I'm just going to let it roll back down. I've now buried the truck. Like, I feel like in order to get the truck to go really low speed, you almost have to... Um, you really have to feather the clutch, which I think in real life you'd actually end up burning your clutch out. Now, that's weird. The light bar up top doesn't come on. Maybe that comes on automatically at night, but... Mud cake tires. All right, let's continue on our little trail here. So for those of you that like Ford, we do also have a Ford F-150. Um, so they did give homage to both Chevy and Ford in this game. It's pretty cool. No winches. <laughs> Psychotronic. <laughs> Badoom. <laughs> Maw dang. That's right. That's right, Feared Fox. Oh, Hummer Schmummer. Boring. That, they could have picked so many other vehicles. <laughs> I really, I, the Hummer, I don't know. I mean, the Hummer is an all-American. Uh, nope, this is a Chevy uh, Blazer K5, just like my RC truck. Um, they could have picked so many other. Yeah, you know, I'm not knocking the... the um, the, the Hummer, it's a great truck, but I just, personally, I would have liked to see something a little more just straight up American like a Dodge or 
maybe a different Ford. But the Hummer is kind of just a... That's like, oh yeah, a Jeep would be really cool. <laughs> but the Hummers are really good at off-road. I just, yeah. I just, uh, I, 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 there are other cooler American cars that I would have gone for. But it is military, and this is a military, this game always has military trucks in it, so. Like, we don't have any, where is, uh, where is the, the Hemet? Where is the Dues and a Half? Like, if we're going to go with a military theme, why don't we have any of those famous American trucks, you know? Well, Nissan wouldn't be American, Long Hill. <laughs> I was thinking of American brands. There are... Like Toyotas and stuff that would be cool. But yeah, like a Jeep Wrangler, you know, anyway. But yeah, they have mods for all. And, and like even the stuff I'm saying, like they have mods for everything pretty much. But um, I, I don't think I have seen a Hummer yet, but I haven't really looked either. Because once again, the Hummer is not the one that I go for. I usually go for these old Chevys and Fords. Well, that's true too. They might have because of the Jeep. The Jeep game, the licensing might be an issue. Look at this, really beautiful. This definitely looks like Alaska, though. I have bottomed out. I'm going to try to go backwards. This is just slush down here. Yep, they may have another DLC, adding more trucks or even a free one. They seem to do that quite a bit. So, got down to that mud pit down there. I think this is the right road. There were some trails that go down across the river, but I'd rather try to stay on the road and not get stuck. <laughs> the Raptor. They have, uh, Traxxas released a sport version of the TRX4, and it's based on a Ford, a Ford Raptor body. It's pretty nice looking. Um, but a little basic for me. Like, it definitely got rid of a lot of the details that the TRX Fords have. But they also have the Ford Bronco, which is really cool, the TRX4 Ford Bronco. I'm just kind of, I've been so disappointed with the quality of my Traxxas uh, TRX4 that I don't know that I would ever buy another one. If I get another climbing truck, I'll probably get another Viterra Asunder because the Viterra's been bulletproof. Uh, my truck never has problems. And the Traxxas is always breaking, so I just, I, it's got something wrong now with the shifter, like the gear shifter is not working right. So, um, yeah, in real life, that's why they, a lot of these guys, that's why they use these old trucks, Strasswa, and they don't really pretty them up, because they know they're going to get beat up. They know that fenders are going to get bent, and things are going to get smushed, and it's just, they, they know that that's going to happen, so they don't, uh, they'd rather use an old truck and kind of beat it up than try to use a new one. This gas is either on or off. Hey, what's up, Steve-o? All right, so our next cross, it's across the bridge there, so we'll follow the road here. I think that's where we're going now. There's a wash point. Yes, Muzi, this is the PC version. Um, I don't know what if it's out yet for the... I know they said that uh, the Switch is coming November 27th, so I don't know. I, I'm assuming that means the other consoles are out now, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. But this is the PC version, yes. Purchased from Steam. Alright, so we are gonna, um, okay, there we go, they're still developing the game, okay, cool. I know, this game is totally gorgeous, isn't it, Somerset? It is beautiful. <laughs> You're up at 5 a.m.? <laughs> yes, it came out at about, I want to say right around noon today, or maybe like, um, uh, one, like, it, it, it just came out, like, I'd say in the last hour it just came out, so there's one more watch point we need to unlock, so we're gonna suppose I should unlock some of these vehicles, too. What else do we got? Do we, we unlock that. Is there another K5 Blazer? What? Sweet. I didn't see that one, but okay. 
Ah, Journey of Life. That's cute. <laughs> Let's see. This game came a long way since the Spin Tires beta. Yeah, definitely. It releases on... No, not really. Most of my Steam releases are about between 1 and 2 o'clock, including, like, Farm Sim. How many Chevrolet Bisons did they give us? Oh, that's the one that came... It's not locked, is it? No, okay, that's the one at the garage. So we're going to go to... Um, do we find any other garages? There is a locked garage over there, so we should probably unlock that. I, my goal is to unlock the whole map, so... Um, block post is open. We have Skitter, Chevrolet Bison. We're going to head over to the Ford there. And then on to the Chevrolet Bison, and then we'll... Uh, and then we'll... Um, we'll unlock that last thing. 650 there. <laughs> That's cool. So, yeah, Summer said, I know you're most. Some of my European viewers are on, up late, though, man. Some of those guys are up, like, forever late. Lights are on. Okay, so let's make our way. Yes, I am. Hey, Pat and Pop. Yeah, I, I am playing with a steering wheel and a gear shifter. So, I've got a clutch pedal and all that stuff. It's a little, it's a little, um, it's a little different than playing with the, with the joystick. Because you really have to manage the clutch. Um, it doesn't, you can't, like, you know, a lot of guys, like, really make the wheels turn slowly and stuff. And uh, you can't do that with the clutch and gas pedal. You have to, like, work the clutch to get it, the wheels to turn slowly and not stall. So I'm constantly feathering the clutch. Now, in real life, you'd burn your clutch out really quick doing that. So did the big lights come on? Yeah, they did. Okay, good. It doesn't seem like they make it much brighter, though. I want a set of lights like that for my Viterra and a roof rack. They're so expensive for the toys. Like the roof rack, I think, the, if I got a set of mirrors, I got crappy mirrors, but I do want to get the actual mirrors like they have here with the, where they stick out. You don't play with the shifter, it's a lot better, more relaxing. Yeah, but I really like that feel of being able to shift the gears. Um, the mirrors are 20 bucks for the art from my RC truck because I have this K same K5 Blazer pretty much. Uh, the lights are about 50 bucks, 40 bucks, like for those upper lights. And then, um, the, uh, that roof rack with accessories is probably about 50 or 60 bucks. So, I mean, you're looking at over a hundred dollars to get just mirrors and the roof rack and lights. I have headlights and taillights already on my truck, but to get a roof rack, it's expensive. Thank you, Strasswa. You're number three in the cheer list. Right, exactly. When you play with the controllers, it's much easier to... Now, even a steering wheel with the with no gear shift would be easier. Um, because then you could really just ease off the gas pedal and stuff. But, um, like right now, I don't even have my foot on the gas, and it's still going. It's interesting. Now, if I take my foot off the clutch, then it stops. But if I slowly ease in... Yeah, that guy. Oh, that's cool, Steve-O. Yeah, I've got, I've got like, 50 games that I've been offered from, uh, what is it, that key, key, uh, key mailer, and I need to do some of them, because some of them actually look really good. Probably more like around Christmas when I have no work. Yeah, the drone fund has been, I have about 300 in there now. I had to, or 400, I had to pay for Vimeo this month out of, out of my, that fund, because my, I'm just out of money, so my Vimeo ran up. I can't upload stuff to clients. I'm like, shoot. See if I can back up. Well, that's true too, Psychotronic. I'm gonna try to go to the left here. And see if I can get a little bit of traction on the grass. Oh, from Kij yeah, I've got I've got like 50 games. I probably have Journey of Life in there, but uh, I need to try some of them because they look really good. So I am looking to get the Mavic Pro. Uh, the Mavic Pro actually, because the Mavic Pro 2 just came out, the prices are dropping like rocks on the Mavic Pro. So. Uh, right now, you can get a refurbished Mavic Pro from DJI with a warranty, factory warranty. Uh, it's a recertified drone. It's got, with three batteries and uh, extra blades and all that stuff, and the controller for 702. And the Mavic Air is still 899 for the same kit. So, <laughs> and the Mavic Pro was like 999, but in the last two days, it's come down because the Mavic 2 just came out last week. So, uh, the timing's actually really good. If I can get enough money together, which I'm hoping to book a, a wedding. Um, Jared's trying to book a wedding for me, so if I book the wedding this weekend, uh, I'll have enough. The wedding will be in November, but if I can book it, like, soon, 
uh, I'll have enough to buy it. Otherwise, I'll just have to keep saving up for it and hopefully pick one up before they sell out. But I don't mind using a Mavic Pro. I don't need the latest. That's that's much newer than the one I'm using. So it's, you know. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Lumber mill. So here's the Ford uh, LT. Um, but I looked at the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air looks like it's more mostly more suited to what I want, except there's one issue. The Mavic Air um, uses that. No, I'm not getting that one. Uh, the the Mavic 2, they have the Pro has the Hasselblad. They don't both have it. The regular Mavic, uh, there's a Mavic Pro and a Mavic Advanced. The Mavic Pro does not have the Hasselblad. The one with the Hasselblad is like $1,700, even on my Mavic, like the original Mavic. They have a Hasselblad version. So there's, uh, like, that one's still like like $1,300. I don't need the Hasselblad camera. Um, and I've heard that it's just okay. Like, it's really not that much better, so. Oh, like subsistence? No, it's not my best of game type. You're right. I'm going to turn these off while we're on the road. So, um, anyway, I looked at the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air looks like it's more what I want, except for one problem. The Mavic Air has that stupid, um, um, what do you call it? It's a, it's a, uh, um, it is a Wi-Fi connection to your phone, not, it doesn't use the controller to, 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 um, hang on, fill up, yeah, roof trunk, it's already filled. Uh, it doesn't use a controller, and so... Uh, it, it just uses that stupid Wi-Fi connection to your phone, and that is not good. That You get way less range when you use that, so that has pretty much made it so that I will never get the Mavic Air. Um, you said, what the freak? Yes, I'm Arthur Chapman. <laughs> oh, good. Patton, well, welcome aboard. Make sure to give me a follow on here, and you can watch any time that you want. be, be uh, great to have you, um, unless you did already follow. You've got the little crown, so I think maybe you are already following. Um but uh, yeah, yep. This is my this is my uh, stream channel. It's V Blue Guitar. So we got that unlocked, and let's go ahead and find that last uh, the last watch point. All right. So that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I have that actually happen a lot. We've got. Oh, let you fall last time you heard. That's so funny. Yeah, so I have a lot of people come and follow, and then they're like, "Oh wait, uh, like you're, you're Arthur." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> it's funny. I should. I wish I could have gotten like it all lined up so that everything was V Blue Guitar, including my YouTube channel. But oh, a couple years ago, Google changed my name on YouTube. I would have been V Blue Guitar on YouTube too, and that would have made it easier for people to find me on Twitch. But anyway, yeah, no, it's not good to have that stupid radio connection. That's a, a very bad way to connect to um, to the radio. So I, the old drones used to do that, where you had a, a, just a regular Wi-Fi connection, and there were always problems with it. So. When they went to the light bridge type connection, it's much better, and that is what the Mavic Pro has, but the the Mavic Air does not, so. Yeah, one of the things that makes this a little bit more, not necessarily American, but kind of American feeling, or North American anyway, is that uh, the, we have a lot of paved roads, so the roads are in bad shape, though, but let's take a look at the, um, all right, so the watch points to my left. Uh, I'm hoping this is the best exit point to get to it. I can't really see because it's really bright outside in real life and really dark here in my room. It's really dark in the game, so. I just feel like waiting until morning, but. Oh. There we go. Get some four wheel drive action going here. I'm stuck in a log. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Whoop. And I'm stuck again. Oh. I'm not sure what I'm stuck on, but I think there's... Oops. You can pull a car out of gear without damaging the clutch. Come on. Or without damaging the gears. Especially these older trucks. They probably... Do. I, I don't think these have synchros, but... I just have to get used to driving slower. Mm, this is definitely not the right way to get to this thing. 82 damage? What? Touchy. Jeez. Oh, oh man, they I think they've upped the damage just a hair. I can't see. Ugh. Need to go in the in cab view and see what we're looking at. This truck's not sounding so good. <laughs> uh 
Oh, shizzle sticks. Um, poop. How can I get out of here? 